Hello and welcome to Let's Have Retro Fun with me, Sam. Today we have got a Turok special. Now then, Turok was based originally on the comic book character who first appeared in the Four Colour Comics, number 596, back in October 1954. The first time, however, he appeared in video game form, which you can see here, was in Turok Dinosaur Hunter in 1997, in which you had to defeat a, a character called a campaigner whilst fighting hordes of enemy soldiers and various different types of aliens whilst picking up pieces of a, a huge staff-like weapon known as the Chronoceptor. While the graphics were very good for the time, uh, a mixture of slowdown with multiple enemies and fog uh, hindered the game somewhat, but it went on sale around about 1.5 million. This, what you see now, is Turok 2, Seeds of Evil, or Seeds of Death, or Seeds of Doom, or something, which came out in 1998, in which you uh, went up against the Primogen. Uh, the graphics and weapons all got an update in this, uh, as did the fog in, which, although was still there, was uh, a, a lot better. The game worked a lot better, I think, thanks in part to the um, expansion pack, which may or may not have been there. They also had weapons such as the Cerebral Ball, which melted into a character's brains before exploding their head completely off. And it also introduced multiplayer to the game. The game that you see now is Turok 3, which came out in 2000. It was the last appearance of Turok on the Nintendo 64, in which you played Daniel or Joseph Turok, the brother and sister to the Turok of Turok 2. Uh, whilst the gameplay was undoubtedly Turok, the game itself actually was a bit of a radical departure. There was more human type characters uh, knocking about. This is my favourite part of the game actually that I've played. It's a bit weird in which this gentleman climbs up and, well, you can see this for yourself. Screams, what's going on up there? What's going on? No guts, blood, and there we go. Some legs. Anyway, then here we are. This is the uh, last of the Turok series we're going to look at today. This is Turok Rage Wars, which came out in 1999. Uh, to almost deal with the popularity of games such as Quake 3 Arena and the Unreal Tournament games, uh, this was a multiplayer or tri and a trial based game in which. Uh, you basically just fought off in arenas. Just gonna go back here to Turok One. They um, basically I'm just gonna show you a little bit more of uh, all three games so you can get a good view of how differently the graphics changed. Um, but yeah, the the whole Turok series is, is basically uh, it's hunting dinosaurs with bows and arrows and uh, and horrific guns. Nice bit of blood. It must be said that uh, whilst they get the series clearly progressed, if you, especially if you look at Turok 3. Uh, the gameplay of Turok 1 and the graphics of Turok 2 would have been where I would have gone with Turok 3, personally. Uh, and the enemies, even though the, some of the characters look a lot better in Turok 3, actual gameplay is, uh, isn't as good. Anyway, here we go. This is just a bit of Turok Rage Wars. This is one of the boss battles. Um, that you have to do it's a uh, you, your adventure mode in the game to unlock characters you can also look and like health upgrades and talismans which you also could get in Turok 2 I think which gave you character like double jump or speed bursts and uh, much like on the Quake uh, games as well you also can pick up double health and speed bursts whilst in the multiplayer but it's just an enemy. anyway that's it for let's have retro fun next time we've got some different games for you thank you very much goodbye